I've experienced a paddle tournament where a fight has broken out because of this tactic. 90% of any argument that I've witnessed at a competition or social match is due to this tactic being used. The tactic is called the fridge. Today, we're gonna learn about the fridge tactic in paddle, how to use it on opponents, how to deal with it when opponents use it on us, and whether or not the tactic is a game changer or game loser. So what is the fridge? This is basically where you and your partner will choose an opponent on the other team to target, to just constantly play the ball to, freezing out the other opponent. That's why it's called the fridge. Well, actually, it should be called the freezer, really, because you're freezing out the other opponent. The idea is that the other opponent gets cold and then doesn't perform as well because no balls are going to them. And then when the ball eventually does go to them, they're going to be like more surprised, shocked, and not ready for it. Often me and my partner will go, right, let's just fridge the guy on the left and we'll only be hitting balls to players on the right-hand side. The idea is that this guy over here is gonna get more tired. They might get a little bit nervous because they're constantly getting targeted. This guy over here is gonna start getting pretty frustrated. If you've ever had the fridge done on you, it's really, really annoying and frustrating. I'm gonna show you a few examples now of what it's like in a game situation. So this first clip is when me and Jake played Anton and Alvaro, who are two top players in the UK. In this clip, you can see how they're fridging me. Every single ball is going to Jake and I'm starting to grow a little bit impatient on this left side. Even that ball there, which was probably more awkward to play to Jake, he's still played. And this is where Jake might feel that he now needs to try and win the point. He probably won't like me showing this clip, but that's what happens when the fridge is put into play, players get impatient. In this next clip, we started to then fridge Anton, who's playing on the right and we want to tire out Alvaro on the left. The idea is to make Anton want to come over and, and attack the balls and make him feel like he needs to play a winner, which he does on the first one. And then as the second ball comes, he probably struck that one, really trying to force a winner on that ball because he wasn't seeing much of it in this match. And then this final clip, you can see how by playing majority of the shots to Alvaro on this left, it makes Anton move over a bit. If you watch Anton's body position on the right-hand side, he moves over towards the center, thinking it's gonna go back to Alvaro because it was for majority of the game because we were fridging him and then I can pass him down the line. So why is this tactic so controversial? First of all, people think it's morally wrong. People think you shouldn't target the weaker player. It's unfair. Paddle's meant to be a fun and social game and you shouldn't go to one player. Also, if you've ever experienced the fridge happen on you, it does just suck. It sucks not getting the ball. It sucks always getting targeted yourself. The biggest problem is when we go to mixed tournaments, a lot of people feel that you shouldn't smash at the woman. A lot of people think that if there's two big guys on the court and you've got two women on the court as well, that the guys shouldn't smash at the woman and shouldn't be targeting that one woman. My personal view is that the tactic should still be promoted and people should still know about it because it's never gonna leave paddle. It should be that people know about it so they know how to deal with it better. My actual view is that it should only really be used in paddle tournaments. I don't think you should be using the fridge in just your casual social matches. It's not fun, there's no point. And it is true that you're not really gonna improve by just targeting the weaker player. Paddle tournaments, there should be no complaints ever if the tactic is used. One time at this very club, I've literally seen two guys pushing each other because one of them was targeting the woman or smashing it at the woman. But I just think in a paddle tournament, there should be no excuses. Even if there's children playing, if you've entered a paddle tournament and people are playing by the rules, you can't complain if you're getting targeted or your partner's getting targeted. That's what you signed up for. So let's talk about now, you're playing a match and the fridge is being used on you. How can you deal with it? First of all, what you've got to do is you've got to suck it up. You've got to accept that it's happening. Don't get angry, realize it's happening, accept it's happening, and then work on how to deal with it. The opponents want you to get angry. That's one of the biggest reasons why they will use the fridge. If you're playing on the left side here and you're playing on the more sort of dominant side, you're the more aggressive player and the ball is constantly being targeted to the player on the right, that is when you can look to come over and try and intercept the balls. As a lot of the time, especially when the ball comes from this area here, imagine it comes from there and it comes across this right player. That's when you can step across and try and play the volleys. Obviously, when your partner's being targeted, it's very easy to read where the ball is gonna go. So I can often see the ball's definitely gonna go to him and I can come across and try and intercept that ball. If you're playing on the right-hand side instead, your job is to play more consistent, more solid, and just set up your opponent. And if the ball isn't coming to you at all, that's fine. I wouldn't worry as much if you're on the right. It's more frustrating when you're on the left, you're being the more aggressive player because that's the player that's gonna get probably more winners in general, typically, not always, but typically, the player on the left is gonna get more winners. So it can be more frustrating that side. My overall advice is if you're on the left, you have gotta try and come over and take and intercept some of the balls. But if you're playing on the right, I would stick in your position, stay calm, 
arm and when the ball does come to you just try and be as solid and consistent as possible. The next thing to do and this kind of links in back to what I said earlier about accepting that it's happening is to use the fridge straight back on your opponents. If every single ball is going to my partner who's on the right hand side I would say to him, right, we're gonna target the guy cross court to you. And then if the ball does come to me, I'm gonna go straight down the line also to that player. So you're essentially just targeting them back. So that was the most controversial tactic in paddle. Let me know what you think of this tactic in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear your guys' opinion on whether you think this should be allowed or not. If you think that this should be banned from social matches, I wanna hear your view. And also, if you wanna improve your corner defense, you can check out this video right here.